get on a little bit here. <laughs> it's quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna be going over the Mercedes-Benz G550 G-Wagon. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and link to the Mercedes-Benz of Farmington, Utah for giving me some time with this G550. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for John Moore. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo four liter V8 that goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 17 on the highway with power outputs being 416 horsepower and then 450 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So taking a look at the hood, you guys can see we've got the Mercedes logo front and center. We have the turn signal indicators on either side of the hood, which looks so cool. And I just love how like angular everything is there at the top. So first off, we got these really cool daytime running lights wrapped around the LED headlamps. And then you guys can see the brush guard here at the top. This is how you tell this is a G550s because the brush guard is up around the lights rather than around the bumper, like on the 63. And then of course, we got the giant Mercedes logo with what's supposed to be a camera but it's not because this would obviously get in the way anyways parking sensors there at the bottom and then we actually do have some protection underneath because this is an off-roader and speaking of off-road this has 9.5 inches of ground clearance and putting it all together this thing just looks like an absolute tank now coming on the side here tire wheel setup is 275 50 20 in the front and over in the rear as well and you guys can see here with the wheel design it matches the overall theme of this particular g550 with all the chrome trim now something i do need to note is you can fit 18 inch wheels on the g550 because the brakes are small enough to accommodate for that which is great because then you could do a real you know off-road setup for the tires and wheels now something else to note is this g550 is equipped with the adaptive suspension setup We've got these body painted fender flares here and then notice that goes straight into the side steps and you guys can see we've got our V8 badge here on the side and then notice how that trim goes all across which is pretty sweet. And putting it all together again it's got that cool G-Wagon boxy design. Now something to note we've got independent front suspension and a solid rear axle with the modern G-Wagon. Now taking a look at the key fob you guys can see we've got our unlock function or lock function Mercedes logo there on the front. Now being a G-Wagon you obviously have the tailgate that opens up like how an SUV tailgate should open up. Notice we got some carbon fiber here on the panel and then leather trim down below. It's one of the funniest things is it's like a utilitarian type vehicle, but you got lots of luxury materials. Now when it comes to the actual storage area, first off we have a cargo cover built in from the factory. Got a charging port here. I think you guys can see the uh, large humps here on either side, but tons of vertical uh, storage space, which just makes this super practical overall. And then of course closing it, nice sound. Now you've got the taillights that are pretty low on the bodywork. Parking sensors here down below. And then you guys can see the recovery hook there on the back. And then of course we've got the spare tire carrier here on the back as well. But what you'll notice is there's no exhaust tips here in the back. And that's because the exhaust actually dumps out in the center. And that's to help out with departure and breakover angle. But anyways, putting it all together. Again, it's got the cool Mercedes G-Wagon boxy look. Which, yeah, I think they've just nailed it with the design. Now with the door panel, really nice leather trim. And you can see down below as well. So this has like a cowhide texture. This is just like smooth with the trim. Then we got the carbon fiber here. Speaker for the Burmester sound system, heated seats for the back. And then you guys can see the window control there as well. And then taking a look at the seats, really nice leather seats, perforated all down the center portion. And you can see, yeah, really like smooth there on the side. Now leg here on the back is actually pretty solid. We've got a little storage pocket right here. Got a vent right there. <laughs> and then I've got more vent action down below with my own climate zone. And then headroom's also great back here. And this also happens to have a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door panel, you guys can see really nice leather trim and then also down below. And then look at like the trim around the handle. And then we got more carbon fiber trim right here. Speaker for the Burmester sound system. All of our seat adjustments, which are very adjustable. Your memory seat function, heated seat control, your door lock and unlock. And then all the window controls up top. We've got our mirror adjustments as well. The mirrors do power fold in and they have blind spot monitoring. And then look at the front seats. Again, really nice leather, perforated all down the center portion of the seat. And then of course it says Mercedes Benz. And I like the finish there on the pedals. I think you guys notice the parking brakes located right here. We've got our light controls. That's your steering assist or lane keep assist rather and then your parking sensors. 
And then you guys can see the heated steering wheel control on the steering wheel. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, really nice leather trim all around. And then you guys can see the, the control here for the infotainment screen there. And then we've got our volume phone controls, voice command controls. And then we also have our adaptive cruise control on the other side. And then some controls there for the center stack. Paddle shifters on the back as well, by the way. And we have our turn signal stock. And then we have our column shifter there on the back as well. Now we've got this full digital gauge cluster here with the G550. And just like other Mercedes-Benz models, we can kind of like customize what the gauge cluster itself shows which I think is pretty cool. But if we actually press the uh, home button here, then notice it kind of doubles as like a secondary infotainment screen and we can even change like the overall gauge cluster design. And let me know which one you like the look of most. I think the classic one, but the progressive also looks cool. Definitely not the sport, the sport one I don't really care for. We'll leave it at classic though. Now in reverse, you guys can see you've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel and then you've got your parking sensors there. And well, if you want a 360 camera system, you gotta go for the G63. Now when it comes to the infotainment screen, I think this is like the last Mercedes model that has the older uh, unit where it's obviously not a touchscreen. It's either controlled via the little like keypad down below or the control on the steering wheel, which both are responsive. So it's like no big deal. It's actually pretty easy uh, to use all of the functions with it, but it would be cool if they upgraded this to the, you know, touchscreen. Now, the last thing to note is going to be the drive modes. So we've got our sport mode. As you can see, you've got an individual mode and then you've got a comfort mode an eco mode. And then you even have a desert mode as well, which doesn't show up there, but you guys can see it right there and notice with the modes they change things like the steering the suspension the engine obviously as well so it's pretty cool the customization now you probably noticed lots of carbon fiber in this interior and then we've got some more leather trim here on the dash and then of course carbon fiber here on the grab handle which is kind of funky and then mercedes circular vents here which leads us to the differential locks so this is the front locker you got the center locker and then you have the rear locking differential this will basically make it so that if you do the center the power distribution front to rear will be more equal this will make it so that the front wheels have equal power distribution and that's for the rear wheels just supposed to help with off-roading if you never take your g-wagon off-road you'll never have to worry about it but if you do take it off-road these controls will be very important we've got analog climb controls down below and then we got a little clock there and then you guys can see the carbon fiber that covers up the like little cup holder section right here and then this is that keypad to control the infotainment system you also have a dial uh, that you can use as well. So I guess that you do have three separate controls. <laughs> They're just all a little bit different. And then your volume control here. Um, this just turn off the screen, your camera system. And then it does have low range here. So it does have a true two-speed transfer case. And then you got your stability control, your manual function, and then we have our drive mode select as well. And then here is the center console, which has decent storage space. You also got some USB action there. And then really nice leather trim on top. Um, nice stitching as well. And then Pretty normal glove box right there. And then up top here, you guys can see we've got a really nice headliner with this particular G-Wagon. And then we've got the sunroof here at the top as well. So here's our window sticker for this G550. Um, you guys can see the base MSRP and then after all options, 155470 And let's cap things off. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear and G550 away. <laughs> so if you guys follow the channel, you know I'm a huge fan of these G-Wagons. And you know, if I made more money, I would definitely own one because I think this is just such a cool vehicle. Like the fact that it's super luxurious but also super capable off-road, I think it's super appealing because this would be a great daily driver. And then you could also go and bomb down some trails. And I mean, it's just super capable. So first off, the G-Wagon is really comfortable from a seat standpoint, the seat's really comfortable, but also the suspension as well. Again, this has the adjustable um, suspension and let's see, we're in comfort mode right now. And the damping on it's just, it's really good. It soaks up everything really well. And again, independent front suspension, solid rear axle. So that all helps out quite a bit and you know it's a it's a big it's a big heavy boxy suv 
Uh, and, and you definitely feel it, but you know, honestly, it's, it's really easy to drive. And it doesn't, um, even though it's a pretty large vehicle, it doesn't drive like massive, if that makes sense. It actually drives relatively, I wouldn't say like tiny, but it drives, it drives relatively small, but you still feel like you, you have that king of the road presence and you feel like you're in a tank. Like that's the thing that I love about the G, uh, just the G-Wagon in general, is you feel like you're driving a tank uh, basically. And yeah, the steering's actually, uh, because you have independent front suspension now, the steering's actually pretty direct now. And I just wanted to kind of see it through the parking lot, like going with a little unevenness and everything to see if there's anything, but like it just, it drives really smooth. Now we'll see going down this little bump here. Yeah, the damping, just like super solid. And again, you got 9.5 inches of ground clearance, so you don't ever have to worry about driveways or anything. This thing's a, this thing's a tank. Now going with a little, yeah, it's super comfortable with the suspension. And tons of torque out of this V8. I mean, you barely have to get into it and it moves. And cabin insulation is pretty good. Now, something to note, this is a boxy SUV. So, you know, at higher speeds, you are going to get wind noise. That's something that, I mean, it's just that's just what happens with stuff like this. So that's something you have to understand. Doing the G-Wagon lifestyle, right? Now, let's actually pop it into sport mode. Yeah, it gets really aggressive. Yeah, the, the suspension's so good. Um, so you guys know I own a Gen 3 Ford Raptor. And, you know, obviously this doesn't have fox shocks like the Raptor that are crazy and, you know, able to handle like crazy high-speed off-roading. But this kind of reminds me of the Raptor in terms of like how well it dampens on-road. It's honestly impressive. Get on a little bit here. <laughs> it's quick. It moves. Like, obviously the 63 is the really crazy one, but I'm gonna tell you right now, in terms of like real world driving, I feel like this is enough power for most people. Like, I feel like this has, I feel like it's got enough get up and go. And the transmission's, the transmission's super responsive. That's, that's something that's really impressive. Really impressive. Um, so overall, love the looks of it, love the capability. I mean, I can't really see anything bad about it other than the fact that it's extremely expensive and I wish it wasn't so <laughs> expensive so that I could afford one. Um, but other than that, I mean, if you can afford one of these, it's it's a great all-around vehicle. Like, I know that nobody takes these off-road that buys them, but like, live a little bit, people. Live a little bit. See see how it does. Put some all-terrain tires on it. Have some fun with it. But let me know what you guys think about the new G550. And would you go 50, 550 rather, or would you go 63?